Welcome to today's DDRX. Don't forget we've been planting the heavens. We want to make some decrease into our future. Proverbs 4, 18. But the path of the just is like the shiny light that shines even brighter unto the perfect day. Jeremiah 29, 11 also says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. You see, God loves to show us the future. And every glorious future starts with a glimpse. That glimpse is what we call vision. Vision. No, Proverbs 29, 18 says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is he. So vision simplifies your lives. Your life, it keeps you disciplined, keeps you focused. You know things to embrace or reject and does not make you to envy others. It makes you stay in your lane if you know your vision. And your vision determines where you will get to. You know, before God could really imprint into the mind of Abraham, he took him outside. In Genesis 13, 15, God asked him to look at the sky. And, and God asked him, what do you see? So the question is, what do you see? You know, someone asked Helen Keller, Keller, what could be worse than being blind? She said, having sight without vision. There are four sights. Your high sight, your hind sight, the sight in the past, your first sight, and your insight. Just like they said of Daniel, that the Spirit of God is a name. So I want us to decree together. Let's decree, I have a glorious future in Christ. My future is settled. Every cataract blocking my vision, heaven will remove today. I will see clearly. I will walk into my vision. I will pursue it. Nothing will stop me. I become unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Just like Daniel had a vision to please God, to know God, I pray that I will pursue God. I will be more devoted. Lord, I thank you for revealing my future to me. I thank you for I have a glorious future in you. Lord, I give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen.